What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install Google Search Console on a Shopify website. So I'm gonna show you two different methods to install Google Search Console. The first is going to be using Google Tag Manager, and the second one is gonna be adding an HTML tag directly to the back end of our website. So here is where we're gonna get started. If we go into Google Search Console, and if you already have an existing Google account, what you want to do is use the same Google account for your Google Search Console account as you're going to use for your Google Tag Manager account. So if we come over here to Google Search Console, you're going to see it's going to open up. I already have this installed for several websites. So the reason you want to use Google Search Console is you can find issues as far as indexing. You can submit your sitemap directly to Google Search Console. You can see if you have any page experience issues, any issues with your merchant listings or product snippets. And most importantly, you can see your performance in the Google search results. So you can see what clicks are driving actual traffic to your website and what pages are driving a lot of traffic to your website as well. So in order to add a new property, what we're going to do is you're going to have the option to add a property. Now, if you sign into Google Search Console for the first time and you don't have any other properties, then there will be an easy way to just click on add property and you're going to see this same screen here. Select a property type. So one of the ways that you can actually verify your website is with the domain. I'm gonna go through this in a separate video that's not Shopify focused. So for this one, we're gonna be focused on Shopify. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna enter a URL prefix, but I'm not gonna enter my website right now. So we're just gonna do samplewebsite.com. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do. Click on continue, and it's gonna give us all the different ways that we can verify our property. So if we look here, there's an HTML file, upload an HTML file to your website, other verification methods, HTML tag, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, and Domain Name Provider. The two I'm gonna go through in this video for a Shopify website are Google Tag Manager and HTML tag. Both of them are very easy to do, and you can actually use both verification methods. It's recommended by Google Search Console to use multiple verification methods in case one isn't working. So if your Google Tag Manager gets removed from your website, then you still have the HTML tag on your website as long as that's not removed as well. So what we're gonna do here is actually start in Google Tag Manager. So when you create a new Google Tag Manager account, very easy to do. When you sign into Google Tag Manager, all you need to do is come to the home screen like this one here. So tagmanager.google.com slash, and they have a little hashtag in here or a pound symbol and then home. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna come in here and choose my container right here. If you don't have one already, then create an account. Very simple to do. I actually have a video on my channel. And if we come over here, you can see install Google Tag Manager on Shopify if you want the complete video. But what I would do is you set up your Google Tag Manager account. Once you come to your container, you're gonna to go to admin and then you're gonna do install Google Tag Manager. So what we need to do is paste these two pieces of code in our theme.liquid file on Shopify for our current theme. So we're gonna take this one first, paste this code as high as possible directly underneath the open, opening header tag. Additionally, paste this code immediately after the opening body tag. So we're gonna copy this code. We're gonna come back over to the back end of our Shopify website. And we're gonna come down here to online store and then you wanna be on the themes page for your online store. It should open automatically when you click online store, but we're gonna scroll down here, click on the three dots for our current theme and click on edit code. So once we're in this edit code, we're gonna be in the theme.liquid file and you can see right here, I have my Google tag manager right there. And then what the other one that we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over here to tag manager again and paste this code immediately after the opening body tag copy this one we're going to come back over to the back end of our website you can actually do Control f command f search for your opening body tag just by searching for this right here and you're going to see here is our opening body tag and here is my google tag manager code right here so i have google tag manager installed on my website you place those two pieces of code on your website and then all you need to do is go back to your workspace and you need to submit this so you need to go through the process of submitting this and publishing your changes so once you do that, you have Google Tag Manager installed on your website. Now what's gonna happen once you install Google Tag Manager on your website, since we're using the same exact Google account to install Google Search Console, we're gonna click on done here. We're gonna add a property and we're gonna do URL prefix and all we need to do is go to our website, copy our URL right here, come over here and we're gonna paste this right here. Now you may have issues if you enter URL without www. So if you enter it like this, you may have issues with actually Google Search Console being able to find your URL. So what I'm gonna do is do www. 
and then our URL here.com and we're going to click on continue and we should be verified. So we're actually verified with an HTML tag and Google tag manager, but I'm still going to show you how to do the HTML tag. If we come back over to my theme.liquid file on the back end of my Shopify website, you can actually see this is my Google site verification HTML tag here. So I've already placed it on my website, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So coming back over to Google search console, we have our profile all verified now and now we should start getting some statistics just like this one now my website does it isn't getting clicks yet because i just launched it and i'm not really creating a lot of content for it so what we're going to do is come down here to settings from settings you're going to see ownership verification you are a verified owner so we're going to click here and you're going to see some of the other verification methods now when you're using Shopify, you may have issues with Google Analytics. When you do it, it may say your Google Analytics code is malformed on your website. That's because we installed Google Analytics directly through the back end of our Shopify website by coming back here to exit, going to preferences, and under preferences, if we scroll down, you can see my Google Analytics account here for Universal Analytics. Since we installed it directly through Shopify, it actually gives us an error when we're trying to verify our website. So that may not work for you. You can use the domain domain name provider. Again, I'll go through that in a separate video. But if we're using HTML tag here, what you wanna do is when you click on the verification methods, one of the options is gonna be the HTML tag. So if we just come over here and let's pretending we're creating a new property again, we'll use our same samplewebsite.com and we click on continue. So what's gonna happen is when you're verifying the property, you're gonna see HTML file here, but with HTML tag, all you do is copy this HTML tag right here, and you're gonna to go to the back end of your Shopify website and paste it. You could paste it right above your Google Tag Manager code, right beneath your Google Tag Manager code, somewhere in the header file of your theme.liquid file. So somewhere in the header section, you wanna put this Google site verification, meta tag, click on save, and that will actually make it so your website is verified. Now, this isn't the right Google site verification tag for, this is actually for my samplewebsite.com that we're doing, so click on done, make sure you have the correct HTML tag here, but right now we're a verified owner, so for our website, we're gonna get all of the data we need as far as our performance. You can see some indexing statistics as, so, as soon as everything starts processing. We can submit our site map, so, I will go over more and more with the Google Search Console, but I just want to show you how to install this using Google Tag Manager and using an HTML tag. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.